mull it over. Mull it. Mull it. Now's not the time to go dark. Now's not. <laughs> Dude, you have a camel in your backyard. It's an alpaca, dumbass. Ruby? Ruby, right, because that one never gets old. How was work today, hon? What does it look like? Jared likes to tease me because in all of our early pictures... Early still. I go, I go like this. <laughs> it makes me blush. <laughs> um, I don't know why I do it, but I think it's a bad, it's not a bad habit, it's just a habit. Um, maybe, <laughs> maybe I'm trying not, maybe, <laughs> maybe I'm trying not to smile. Or have any wrinkles. Anyway, I think I just did it in the last post, but he's making fun of me. Jared Jensen, yes, sir. thank Hi. you so much for what you guys do and the whole Supernatural crew. I was just wondering if you thank ever you. heard of the uh, the legend of the Winchester Mystery House here in San Jose. I've I've been um, I have heard of it and I, I went a few years ago and I was like this is cheesy. I went probably usually it's I have heard of it. I've been not I've been and I have heard of it. <laughs> Kind of buried the lead there. <laughs> You're still mad about the Jensen stabs people thing, aren't I you? I didn't stab you! <laughs> Wait, you and Ruby? Do you honestly think that's funny, Jensen? Right. Right, because you're not Ruby. You, I mean, how could you be? Uh, Genevieve and I, when Tom was still, it would have been four years ago, because Tom was still in one of those baby holder things. Um, and so we go, and I'm like, it's the international sign for baby holder things. And I'm, so, I'm all like, well, baby, this is going to be strange, because I'm Sam Winchester. And she's like, it's going to be fine. And so we go, it's like during a weekday, and... Um, it was crowded, but it wasn't like going on a weekend and summer did something. Say, did you say to Jen, baby, this is going to be strange because <laughs> I'm Sam Winchester. And is that the only time you've said that? Sam? Yeah. Too much information. Hey, I told you I was coming clean. Yeah, but now I feel dirty. It is not the only time I've said that, and yes, I did say that. Uh, and so we go, and we're part of this, we, we take it. <laughs> okay, well, uh, brain stabbing imagery aside. We take the tour, and there are probably, you know, seven, eight, nine other people with us on the tour, and no one says a thing. I'm like, oh, cool, like, they just don't know. It, like it, it was it felt so cool as if we were just another couple of people um we didn't get uh we didn't get pointed out and then you know the tour is hour and a half long maybe and you walk through here and you go through there and at the very end of the tour the tour guide's like okay does anybody else have any questions for me and everybody's like no thank you so much he goes cool well then i have a question for uh you and jen jared can i take a picture with you because i'm a big fan <laughs> at which point everybody else is like yeah can we do too like this would be so cool <laughs> And I was like, uh, of course. So somewhere there are pictures of us at the Winchester. But they, it was really neat because they let us kind of be just tourists um, before finally uh, doing some pictures. But uh, yeah, it's, it's very neat. Have you? Yeah, I've been there. Have but you heard he... of it? <laughs> <laughs> I think it would be awesome if the brothers went and uh, did a real uh, hot, 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 we should hot do an episode. We should, we should do an episode there. I think, I think it's in the, in the works, right? Yeah, I'll, I'll fight for that. That'd be amazing. It'd be very cool. Yeah, hey, that'd be amazing. Uh, thanks, brother. Thanks a bunch. Cheers. You? Of course.
course, you are the lovely actress who plays Ruby. <laughs> and you are uh, in Jared's house uh, because you two are married. You married fake Ruby? You're awesome. <laughs> Seriously? I got out of one I, line this scene. Cut. Put it again. Hot. You've never even been to our house. <laughs> well, now that I know there's an alpaca out back, I'm definitely coming back. Well, alpacas are the greenest animal. Right, right. That is so important. It was, uh, uh, we did this little movie together uh, called Tenichiro. <laughs> Obviously, you guys haven't seen it, but, um, <laughs> it's, uh, anyway, anyway, um, we would commute together, uh, to and from, uh, we lived in the same area in Los Angeles, and then we were filming in San Pedro, which is about an hour drive, and so she and I carpooled together, uh, and it was, uh, probably the second week of filming, uh, we were in a car, and, and just a conversation, and I was like, oh, no. <laughs> Uh, I was dating somebody at the time. It was it was kind of a new relationship. We were, and, and it was kind of it had already fizzled out. Which is that was another thing too that I wanted to kind of touch on is I, I you know I, I dated a few people uh, obviously prior to to uh, to Neil and um, and those you know there's always that moment where you're like oh, I really like this person like I, I want to I want to be with this person uh, as much as I can and. Um, but then that feeling eventually kind of fades away, and unfortunately, sometimes there's not enough to sustain a relationship. Um, that that hasn't happened yet with Neil. So. Two days, two days. Everybody, relax. I'm here. And so close to almost on time. Oh, well, come on. I mean, once I start showing up on time, you'll expect it every day. Not to say it won't, I'm just saying. <laughs> uh, uh, 
No, uh, but it was it was in those those carpool, those drives, and those conversations was when I realized that this was uh, this was this was she was going to be a problem for me. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm sort of similar. So Jen and I knew each other for several months before we were on our first date, and I, I finally got the courage to ask her to lunch, um, stayed for dinner, and chatted, and uh, the next day we went to dinner again or lunch again, whatever. And she's like, you can't tell anybody that we're dating. And I was like, we're dating? What? <laughs> I mean, she was so... Presumptuous. <laughs> she was so... Uh, it was comforting, because she didn't give to SHITs about my TV show, or how much money I made, or what I looked like, whatever. She's like, Cool, well, just gonna go brag to everybody we're dating. You know, like it was kind of like, damn, girl. <laughs> um, and so. Yeah, you were the lucky one in this scenario. <laughs> no, I still am. Um, so I think I, I think I was, you know, I, for all you fishermen, fishermen out there, that's when she sort of set the hook. And then it's just been a really in job. <laughs> a little bit. It was, it was pretty, once I got to know her, it was pretty quick. I knew she'd be. Uh, She'd be there right now. Aww. Thank you. Well, there's that thing I have to get to. Oh, yeah. <laughs> of course, yeah, the thing. But... The International Otter Adoption Charity Dinner. Oh. Okay, well. well I'm glad you two are talking anyway. Well, looks like you did all right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I should figure out her name. This is a little, uh, a little funny uh, behind the scenes story. So I was just back there training. I worked out this morning and I was doing pull ups, so I put my ring into my shorts. And I realized right before we were coming to stage that my ring was still in my shorts. Uh, in front of the car, so there was like a big scramble. I was like, I don't want to go out there and start this rumor mill. <laughs> Across the body, and then your right arm behind you. Oh. And then straight across the body, your left arm oh, behind you. Oh, I got this. Because y'all already used this. Oh, wait. <laughs> Watching Wayward Winchester. Subscribe for more awesome Wayward content. Till next time, as always, no chick flick moments. Peace.